Hi everyone, this is Sophia. Today I'm going to set up my June digital bullet journal. The main theme for this month is the coral reef. Due to my busy schedule, I had no time to draw the sticker set for this theme as I had done in previous months. Instead, I'm just going to use the images I found on internet. What I'm doing here is basically arranging all the corals into a circle. Then I put a solid white circle on top of them to create a coral wreath. The page on the left will be the quote page. Obviously, my attempt for modern calligraphy is pretty much failed. So I saw this quote on random photos on the internet and then immediately love it. Here is the closer look at my June Boudreaux's cover page. Next is my monthly overview page. This month, I've used a similar template as previous one, just with a different color. Recently, I have been obsessed with the dark mode with three pages style. Every month, I always put three main goals in this monthly view page. Next, I am going to add in all the national and noticeable holidays. I also add here the sale periods of my studio in Etsy store just so that I could keep an eye on the coupons expir expiration days.
As usual, I've moved on to the weekly pages. However, I have a relatively new template for this weekly setup this month. Still with the space for the sticky notes on the left hand side, I maximize all the spaces for each week. The design was inspired by the Hobonichi Planner that I have been seeing many YouTubers using. I really like its clean and minimal look. Now I have a brand new addition for my boudoir this month. Last month, I had experienced using a page as my diary, which eventually turned into the photo book of what I have been eating each day. It was a pretty fun practice. Unfortunately, maybe because there are too many photos in a single page, this page always lags whenever it loads. So I decided to try out the daily page for this month in place for this one page diary. I simply duplicate the weekly page to keep all the links and tabs. I then remove everything and after that I add the late the daily template into it. This daily template also inspired by the Hobonichi daily pages. I continue to duplicate this page to create the rest of the day of week number one. So at the end of each week, I'm going to do the same process again to create the next 7 days. I continue to track my monthly flexible expense and I will start to track my special savings month. I decided to build my own BC and 
I'm still in the process of researching the estimate cost to build the PC that I want. So the exact saving goal has not been decided yet. The tracker page pretty much stays the same with the habit tracker and the sleep tracker. I am still very much struggle with my strange sleep schedule. Next is my entertainment page. I know right away which book I will read for June, The Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I love, love his The Martian book and also love his movie adaptation. So I snatched the book right away from Costco when I saw it. So I have several movies in my watch list since like forever. I just keep forget about them. I normally would not have enough patience to watch like TV series, but my friends love this Chinese series and introduced it to me. Uh, the Word of Honor, which is the name of this series, is going to be on Netflix soon, so I think I might check it out. Last but not least is my idea page. Normally, uh, it's the place for my DIY project. I put all the information I need for the DIY project in here, like what type of materials I need, what the inspo, uh, and I also draw the sketch of how the DIY would look like here. But this month, it would be for brainstorming my Q3 Kanban board. I will use this page to list all the possible tasks for July, August, and September. The final task list will be posted on the physical Kanban board on my wall. If you know about Kanban and you will see that the Kanban that I'm using uh, is a little bit different from the traditional vertical Kanban board setup. So finally, the quick flip through of my June digital bullet journal. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you all next time. Bye now.